Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing great this holiday season. First of all, I would like to say thank you as this channel has just reached 10,000 subscribers which is unbelievable. So again, thank you for all your support and I hope you continue supporting this channel. And if you watch till the end of this video, I will be giving you a gift so make sure to stick around. Alright, so as you know, I am a fan of AI editing and once again, I would like to show you how amazing this AI editing software is. This software that I will be talking about is Retouch for me. And before I show you how to do batch processing, let me quickly demonstrate two fantastic plugins that can also be useful to you. First is the Eye Vessels plugin, which automatically removes the red veins in the eyes. And as soon as you open the program, the AI automatically scans the image and applies the effect. Let's zoom in so we can see it clearly. This is the original image. This is with the red eye vessels removed. You can adjust the blend slider if you want to increase or decrease the targeted area, but for this image, 100 is okay. So it's now super quick and easy to remove red eye vessels with retouch for me. After removing the red vessels, we can now add brilliance to the eyes. We'll be using the Eye Brilliance plugin. Again, the AI automatically scans the image and applies the effect. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. As you can see, the plugin has brightened the eyes, which makes the image more lively. Again, you can play with the blend slider to adjust the effect to your preference. For this image, let's set it at 40. Before, after. Okay, the next plugin that I will show you is called the Fabric Plugin, which removes wrinkles on clothing. This is the before. This is after. Let's zoom in. Before. After. It does a pretty good job removing the wrinkles. Clicking the preview button shows the wrinkled areas that it detected and removed. And again, adjust the blend slider to increase or decrease the effect. So this plugin really comes in handy for fashion or clothing photography. Okay. Now we proceed to batch processing images in Retouch for Me. I will be showing you how to batch process multiple photos and see how fast it does it. Please note that you can only do batch processing using the standalone software and not through Photoshop. Okay, let's begin. For this first example, we will be editing 50 photos and we will be using the Clean Backdrop plugin. By the way, these images are 2336 by 3504 pixels and around 4.7 megabytes each, so they are quite large files. And as I zoom in on the image, you can clearly see that the background is dirty and needs cleaning. So let's open the Clean Backdrop plugin and import these images. Once the images have been imported, you can adjust the blend slider to your preference. As for me, I just keep it at 100. You also have the option to choose the type of dirt that needs to be cleaned. There's fine dirt, medium dirt, and coarse dirt. For this example, let's just stick to fine dirt. I'll click Start Processing, create an output folder, and as soon as I click Select Folder, it will do the batch processing for these 50 images. Let's see how long it will take. So that took about 10 minutes and 15 seconds. Pretty impressive if you ask me. And note that these are high resolution images. I have opened one edited image to show you the before and after and I will let it do the talking. So what do you think? Now do you believe in the power of Retouch for Me's batch editing? 
Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Now the next batch processing plugin that we will be using is the Heal plugin. These images are downscaled and optimized for social media posting, which is 2048 pixels on the long side of the image. So let's import these 50 images to the Heal plugin. I will keep the sensitivity to 100 and set the image size to Auto. And then we create an output folder and then select that folder to start the batch process. Okay, that only took about 2 minutes and 32 seconds which is mind-blowing. Retouch for Me plugins not only edit your images with quality and precision, but also edits images with speed. Now to cut this video short, let's do the same exact process on the 50 healed images but this time, we will use the Dodge and Burn plugin. And here we go. Now that took longer than expected. For 50 images with 2048 pixels on the long side, it took about 11 minutes and 3 seconds for the batch processing. I'm pretty sure for larger images it will take longer, so I don't recommend it, unless you really have the time and patience to do it. We're back in Photoshop so we can compare the before and after. This is the original image. This is with the heel plugin. Let's zoom in. Original image with heel plugin. Now this is with the heel and dodge and burn plugins. Again, let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. Let's group these two plugins together. This is the original image, and this is with the two plugins. It looks great in my opinion. And that wraps up the batch editing process using Retouch for Me. I highly recommend this software, most especially for professionals who process multiple images for clients. This is really a huge time saver. And as promised, and since you are still here, I will give you a gift. For a limited time period, click the link in the video description to get 30% off. Yes, 30% off on any Retouch For Me plugins, so grab this amazing deal while it lasts. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more AI photo editing videos like this, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.